So today we'll be talking about uh, Maurice Leblanc. Um, he's a novelist from France. So, uh, oh, look at his mustache. I would like to sport such a mustache sometime, maybe in the future. So, but for now, this works, <laughs> whatever mustache I have. So uh, Maurice Leblanc uh, was born in uh, Rouen, Normandy, France in 1864. So his uh, his life spans like the 19th and the 20th centuries. So his contributions to uh, the detective fiction genre uh, earned him like uh, a distinguished place in uh, literature. Uh, and he's compared with the likes of Arthur Conan Doyle and Agatha Christie, who are well known in, in their own rights, right? And uh, amazing novelists, uh, Arthur Conan Doyle and Agatha Christie as well. So. Um, we'll talk about them sometime in the uh, one of the future videos. So, originally aspiring to become a high society writer, uh, Leblanc's early literary efforts were met with uh, sort of a, um, a modest success. So, uh, when Leblanc wrote uh, most of his novels, and uh, we'll talk about uh, his famous character pretty soon, uh, he uh, he established him as a prominent, prominent uh, uh, like personality. So he won the award, uh, which is the Legion of Honor, uh, which is France's the highest order of merit uh, for his contributions to French literature. He passed away on November uh, 6, 1941, in uh, Perpignan, France, uh, leaving behind a legacy. Uh, and uh, it, it transcends time. His novels uh, no, no, transcend like uh, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, novelists, even in his time frame, and even the current novelists in this specific genre of uh, uh, detective fiction. So he created this character called uh, Arsene Lupin. Uh, Arsene Lupin, uh, which is a creation by him, he's a gentleman thief. So he's sort of an anti-hero. Uh, it's a thief story, uh, a very interesting uh, way to uh, portray like a particular character, right? And he made him very famous, Arsene Lupin. And Arsene Lupin is also uh, a Netflix series. So if you happen to uh, be on Netflix, do go ahead and watch it. Uh, it's a wonderful, fast moving uh, kind of uh, uh, kind of a series and the episodes move pretty fast. Uh, and even read uh, his novels. So uh, he has uh, this uh, Arsene Lupin, uh, The Gentleman Thief. It's a collection of nine stories uh, by Maurice Leblanc. And it introduced him to the world of uh, uh, Arsene Lupin and the sophisticated master of disguise and theory. So Arsene Lupin is very much known for coming out uh, with uh, different disguises and uh, the Netflix series portrayed it very well as um, uh, when I watched it. So it's a collection that establishes Lupin uh, as a French counterpart to Sherlock Holmes. So albeit this uh, Arsene Lupin has a penchant for committing crimes rather than detection and solving which Sherlock Holmes is uh, well known for. So the stories are uh, very witty and very humorous and uh, it sort of captures the clever escapades of Lupin uh, who has a strong moral code. He operates uh, with the strong code of conduct that is uh, often choosing the victims who are themselves literally corrupt or who are exceedingly wealthy. So sort of a Robin Hood kind of a character, uh, Robin Hood kind of a character here in uh, R.C. Lupin. So Lupin's charm and intelligence, it, uh, uh, kind of attracts people to him, being bait in the wealthy uh, counterparts that he is uh, trying to steal from, uh, and uh, it makes him uh, like sort of a gentleman thief. He has very gentleman manners and uh, brings in the admiration of the public as well. He eludes the capture by the police and rivals alike, and uh, the collection itself begins with the arrest of us where uh, he's captured aboard a transatlantic steamer. Uh, but 
of course he has to escape and that sets the tones for uh, the adventures multiple adventures to come so each story is sort of capturing rupon's versatility and uh, pulling off these uh, heists and uh, he is outwitting everyone his adversaries and uh, he's also serving justice by stealing from the wealthy and the morally corrupt uh once in the society so he has his own he's establishing his own justice and his own unique way the escape of uh, arsin lupon uh where he is evading the capture right and uh, sort of uh, the uh, continuation to that is the mysterious traveler where uh, he identifies a fellow passenger uh on a train that captivates his interest and it showcases like the flair for solving the mysteries that puzzle even the police and the queen's necklace is another sort of lupon's sense of justice as he seeks to return the necklace to its rightful owners uh, and thus he is exposing a lot of corruption and uh, deceit in the french aristocracy at that time now throughout the collection he is pursued by the inspector ganimard <laughs> who is always uh, a uh, very uh, very smart and witty character as well uh, and uh, you know, even though the inspector is smart uh, he always uh, being outwitted of course by the lupon uh, lupon as a person and there is a dynamic rivalry that enhances like sort of the story's charm and the series actually captured it very well as a reader i could imagine some of the scenarios but when you actually see it on the screen uh, that's like the director and the screen writers bring it uh, to life right and uh, uh, that was wonderful so i would salute to uh, the netflix series creators as well of our support so Arsene Lupin uh, gentleman thief it's a collection of uh, nine stories so the next one was Arsene Lupin versus uh, Herlock Sholmes <laughs> so uh your question why not Sherlock Holmes right so he, uh Morris had to use this uh, different name because there is a lot of copyright around Sherlock Holmes as a character himself and as a detective so it's a very captivating novel that uh, puts puts up these two literature's greatest minds against each other in a battle of wits and uh, and there is there is a lot of uh, mastery that is shown from each one of them and it creates a very delightful play of uh, rivalry uh, although Arsene, uh, Arsene Lupin is the thief is a gentleman thief liked by everyone and uh, his classic detective rival now uh, being uh, uh, Herlock Holmes uh, which is Arthur Conan Doyle's character Sherlock Holmes but renamed uh, so due to copyright concerns uh, by Morris himself at that time uh, he couldn't use the name Sherlock Holmes so uh, it, the novel comprises of two parts the blonde lady and the Jewish lamp so each one of them narrates a series of intricate uh, duels between Lupin and uh shorts and there is there is a uh, theft and then there is cunning disguises that uh, always pose uh like a challenge to uh shorts and there is uh shorts is of course like very logical and uh, he's very observational uh as well so there is there is there is like a strong characters that uh, that are playing against each other in this rivalry which makes it an interesting read and the blonde lady uh, lupon commits a series of daring robberies leaving behind no clue but there is always a card with his name so his thefts are intricately planned and executed with flawless precision so the police uh, and uh, police are kind of uh, in in a way they do want to solve and uh, capture lupon but there is also an admiration from the public that he is experiencing so theft of the precious uh, uh cornet of the princess steel ball uh the french police find themselves uh are like out, outwitted and outmatched so they call in herlock sholmes uh to as a as a detective to solve the case so sholmes of course is accompanied by his loyal friend wilson 
a stand-in for Dr. Watson, uh, and he embarks on a quest to capture uh, Lupin. Uh, the cat and mouse game intensifies. There is uh, clever maneuvers from each side, and there is an counter maneuver from the other side. So the rivalry actually is thriving in in this particular uh, novel. So. Uh, it's a very interesting read. Uh, After the Blonde Lady, it's the Jewish lamp that continues the rivalry uh, with the mysterious theft of uh, the antique lamp. And uh, Sholmes and Wilson are again on a thrilling uh, chase across France. And throughout, uh, Lupin is always one step ahead. He's a mastery of disguise and escape. And he's also earning a lot of respect and admiration. Uh, like the rivals... Uh, uh, Sholmes and Wilson also are admired for their detective skills, but the public seems to be more uh, attracted towards Arsene Lupin. So there is a mutual recognition of each other's talents. Like uh, Sholmes recognizes it in Lupin, and Lupin recognizes uh, how fast Sholmes is getting getting up on his uh, back. And their rivalry is kind of exploring the themes of honor among the thieves and there is a thin line between law and lawlessness right and and both are at their peak uh, in in this particular novel so a very interesting read uh, they are they, they emerge as counterparts but also like uh, both of them are at their respective pinnacles in their own world of thievery and one and one as a detective so wonderful wonderful read so i would encourage the readers to go and uh, uh, read Arsene Lupin versus Herlock Sholmes. <laughs> so 